I, I have been able to find out that my mother is okay from a friend who, who had a chance to call me from Ormok, but we got cut off, and, and since then I've not been able to contact her, but I know she's okay. Our problem is how to get to Ormok. There is just one boat going to Ormok, to and fro Ormok, and it, it does, it, nothing is definite because we cannot even dock to Ormok because the, the port is, is damaged. So there is no absolutely no news, no news outlet there in Ormok, only in Tacloban. So there's absolutely no news from there, although we know that they're okay. And do you, do you have any information as to what they had to actually go through, and indeed, what did you go through? Yes, oh, it was terrifying for me not to know anything. And some of my friends, they just sent text messages. Their messages during the storm, they sent out text messages to their friends in Cebu, and they're finding out that most of them just hid in their closets because the rooftops have been blown off. And there's nothing else, there's nowhere else they can go but into their closets. They're old houses, big old houses in Armok. It's two hours away from Tacloban by uh, driving and two hours away by boat from Cebu. We, we do not know there. We, we just have no other word except they're okay. But they need food, just like in Tacloban. Uh, but you're aware of your mother's own house having been damaged as well. E yes, yes. All the all the windows and the doors have been damaged. She stayed in her room the whole time in the bathroom, but she had food. She has food and water, unlike the others who are less fortunate. But she hid in the bathroom 